choice. Could be, could be a cheeky count. Yeah. And ask you about identity again. Yes. So you was on the show unapologetic. <laughs> Did you like my segue yeah, there? Yeah. Was that smooth? Was that, that smooth? smooth? That was smooth. <laughs> <laughs> So you might have been on the show Unapologetic with Yinka and Zizi. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if they're going to watch this. They probably won't, but I, I love you ladies. So you were on that show a couple of weeks ago and it went viral on social media. Oh, a long time now, don't it? It is. What's a long summer. time? Like two weeks? Has it been two? Was it on two weeks ago? No, about I'm three, about, three, about, about a month now. Okay, about, about a month. Yeah, yeah, I about don't think Cedric yeah. on Caribbean, right? Um, <laughs> and there was an interaction with uh, White Yardy. We'll just name everybody here. We're mm -hmm. being respectful too. For anyone not aware, um, he was a panelist on the show. And uh, one of the other panelists, not yourself, asked him about his identity as mm -hmm. well. Can we talk about that and what happened? And I mean, we can talk about it. On the show, as you saw, I, I had no words. I yeah, didn't you didn't have say any anything. Exchange. You didn't say anything. Yeah, yeah. In fact, the only thing I did say, I'm not sure you made the edit, but... They asked me what I thought, and I was like, I agree with White Yardy that if he wants to claim being Jamaican, he is free to do so. Yeah, that's what it's I said on the show. Because yeah. it's, it's your national identity. Yeah, it does, and it's just that you know there is the uh, conflation of national and racial identity when it applies to the Caribbean. Yeah. Now there was a lot of backlash towards the other panelists who asked him about his identity. Did and he come off social media? He had to come off social media because he was was called as being doxied. Now my only thing is that you know, I don't agree with what he said. No, actually, no. Let me rephrase that. Because he said, when did you decide to be Jamaican? Yeah. And a lot of people took umbrage with this fact that he is still challenging uh, White Yardy's national identity. Now, whether he has the right, whether it's right for him to do so, that's all subjective. However, as a Caribbean person, which mm. White Yardy is, yeah. you should be used to people questioning your identity on a regular basis. It's what happens to us Because as, well. as a Jamaican, more than anyone, more than any of us, we've he is, got, we've he'd got be one aware, minute as well, guys. More than any yeah. of us, he would be aware that as a Jamaican, several Jamaicans who were born in the UK, who have come over here as children, like yeah. he has done, have been being deported throughout the Windrush scandal in en masse. And, and they're having their documents yeah. being destroyed all the time. So really and truly, I would say, you know, it looked like it might've been very awkward, but whether you are white or black, as a Caribbean person, having your national identity questioned is a part of our daily experience. So yeah. really, that that really just made White Yardy authentic to me. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Guys, awesome. I'm going to have to wrap this up. 